Okay, so you have FUBAR and you're trying to import a CD into your music library in the FLAC format. <clears throat> so what you're first going to want to do once you have FLAC installed, uh, not FLAC, sorry, FUBAR, that little guy up there, is you're going to want to go to Firefox, whatever your web browser is, Google FUBAR FLAC or something similar, and one of the first things that shows up should be FLAC Free Encoder Pack. What you're going to want to do at that point is just go down here to this download link, click that, and it should come up with this little message, at least if you're using Firefox, something similar if you're using Internet Explorer or Chrome. Click this little button again if you're using Firefox. I've already downloaded it, so that's why there's that little one at the end of the file name. Click that, and it's going to ask you if you want to install this, because it is an EXE. You don't have to drag and drop anything. Follow the uh, instructions here. It's going to ask you just leave that as the default, and I'll put it into your FUBAR file directories here. And just leave all these checked. What you're really concerned with here is FLAC. And click Install. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. So, and then you go back out. <clears throat> now at this point, you're going to want to pick a uh, CD that you want to import. Let's see what do we got here. Windows XP. No, that's not really my favorite album. Uh, Windows 7 Ultimate. No, that's not my favorite album either. Vista SP2. Jesus, I hate that freaking album. Uh, well, let's see what else. Ah, we have one. Let's import this. So we're going to open it up. Pick, uh, what, disc one? Yeah, disc one is better. So, comfortable now. so, take this, put it in your disc drive. There you go. Now, of course, you're going to have something pop up that asks you if you want to import it with Windows Media Player or, God forbid, iTunes, but of course, you don't want to do that. You want to say, fuck you, get out of here, and you want to click FUBAR. Open that BZ up. Now at the top, yeah, ignore this. You now a little kid music here. That's a little better. Go to file, uh, open audio CD. Now you're going to click your uh, CD drive here, or DVD drive, whatever. Uh, it should be the default selected already. And then you just go ahead and click rip. And this little window will come up. You see all this stuff and it should import the correct file names and everything proceed to converter setup dialog okay now what you're going to want to do here is click output format and then go down to flac and everything you should just leave everything as it is unless you really know what you're doing and you're uploading stuff to what cd or whatever destination you can just leave that it'll ask you later processing one leave that other leave that to convert and it'll come up and ask you where you want to send it you can just go to desktop and you know make a new folder or whatever. Just call it bagel. Okay. There you go. And then you click select folder. And now it'll import it. All the little guys as flack. Now you just wait for that to do its thing. It'll take a little bit, depending on how fast your computer is and everything. And then you can open the folder as it's going and you can see that it's importing all of them as FLAC. And there you go. When you're done, it, it'll probably already have the file default to open with uh, FUBAR, but if it doesn't, you can go down to open with. If this ever comes up, sometimes it takes a while to do this, I don't know why. Click choose default program. You know, do, 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 do. It's taking a little while because it's busy doing all this stuff, I guess. It's kind of weird. You'd think that this computer would be faster doing this. In any case, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go. Ah, there it is. So, if it doesn't, if it's not listed here, you know, you can go to browse, and then you go to your installation drive which you should probably only have one. Program files, FUBAR 2000, and then this little guy. It says FUBAR 2000, and it says application. Not this one, because that's not going to do it. This one. And you click that, and then you click open. And that'll set it as your default for whatever and ever. And then, you know, 
There you go. Now you have Pink Floyd imported in flak and all of its incredible lossless CD quality glory. Rad.